Well, that very thing, intentionally renting out foreclosures without telling the tenant, that continues to be a problem in Southern Nevada. But what if the person you're renting from isn't just your landlord, but it's a person you really trust with homes, a realtor? I-Team reporter Jonathan Humber joins us now. Jonathan, you found a, a poster child example of why this law needs to be passed. That may be the case, Dave. And when you rent from an established realtor with a legitimate company, you expect to be safe. You're dealing with someone who's supposed to know the rules and abide by them. It may not be the case this time. We found one realtor renting her own defaulted houses. It's not illegal yet. I mean, this is all of my Korea stuff still. Lisa Zellick is still unpacking for her new job at Creech Air Force Base. She found a great rental. That's what I wanted was this, and it was right in my price range. And everything seemed fine until... I got a letter in the mail that was addressed to resident. And so I just opened it up thinking it was junk mail. Instead, it was an auction notice. She didn't know her rental was about to be sold. I just felt like I had gotten one over and it really made me upset. Zellick blames the owner of the house, her landlord and local realtor, Cynthia Glickman. People just got so caught up in For the, the last year and a half, Cynthia Glickman has been interviewed by the I-Team as a real estate expert. She's a Ph.D., an author, and a former economics professor at CSN. But a wide-reaching I-Team investigation found Zellick's rent isn't Glickman's only foreclosure. At one time, Cynthia Glickman owned eight different properties around the valley, each one in some stage of default or foreclosure. Several of them have already been sold. Many of them had multiple liens. I felt like I was kind of taken. Like, we, we specifically asked, hey, is this house in default? And you know, they said no. Recorder's records show Zellick's rental defaulted on October 16th, yet Glickman and her real estate company rented it out on December 12th. I was floored because I, I trusted her. When that auction notice came, Zellick decided to stop paying rent. Instead, she immediately put future rent money into a protected escrow account. She planned to pay once the default was fixed. That never happened. Glickman promised she was working it out with the bank, yet over the holidays, communication broke down. Well, that was when we were trying to contact her to get her to sign to get the trash removed, but she was in Mexico. In the end, Glickman's bank reprieve never came. So in March, the house went up for auction. Zellick was there. Going once, going twice. And sold back to the it ended up in the hands of Fannie Mae, a better situation for Zellick, still able to stay in the house for now. I really think that what she did was extremely wrong, and she should get punished for it. All right, thanks. She never got answers, so we tried. Glickman was willing to explain to the I-team what happened, but then backed out. So we went to the office to try again to get her side of the story. Hey, Cynthia. Glickman sent out an office assistant instead. She can't justify what happened. No clear answer on why Glickman would rent out a house she knew was going through foreclosure without telling the tenants. And you got to admit, there's nothing that can be said that can change this. It is what it is. Glickman's response. I'm so disgusted with you. As for Lisa, really she's still looking for an explanation. I would expect that she would have at least apologized. That was That's really the most that I want from her is really a face-to-face -face apology for all the heartbreak that she's put me through being in this house, wondering if I'm going to get kicked out. Now, after another phone call and email, still no answers from Glickman this week on any of this. Now, if that bill passes the legislature, what she did will be considered a deceptive trade practice. And if she does it again, she could face an injunction, a misdemeanor, or a yanked license. Now, on a positive note in all of this, Lisa Zellick was not kicked out when Fannie Mae bought that house. And she liked it so much, she has contacted them because she, now that she wants to buy it and stay there.